I love the brass quintet. Now I know making a sound is accomplished by blowing into the instrument, but they're all different shapes. Do they play the same? Basically, yes. All wind instruments are just a tube, and you blow into them, and that makes the air inside the tube vibrate. And there's a hole at the end of the tube, so that makes the air outside vibrate, and that's your sound. Mm -hmm. You can see it was this little recorder. It's a tube, wooden tube. I blow into the end, that'll make the air inside vibrate, and there'll be the sound. But how do you get different notes? Well, it turns out that the longer the tube, the lower the note. Many instruments like this have a lot of holes. You close all the holes, and you've got a long tube. Then you open up the holes, and the tube gets shorter, so you get a higher note. Watch how, as my fingers come off, the notes go up. Do brass instruments work the same way? Basically, yes. One difference is that they all have such long tubes that they have to be coiled up. You can see that very clearly with the French horn. Its tube's about 30 feet long, so it's wound into these elegant coils. To change the length of the tube, we can see that very clearly with the trombone, because it has two U-tubes that slide in and out of one another. And when he slides it out, the tube gets longer and he plays lower notes. Now, instead of changing the lengths of these tubes all the time, wouldn't it be easier to have a bunch of different lengths? That's a possibility, too. Come on over here. I've got a surprise to show you. Okay. Jamestown Elementary has formed a special bottle band. They play five different lengths of bottles, which make five different notes. 